Hi everyone, it's Nath here from the PhD Place, and today I'm excited to be diving into something that there's an awful lot of buzz around at the moment, which is exploring the latest AI tools designed to support academics in their research. So just a heads up, this video is sponsored by Size Summary. Now I've recently been chatting to Max about his new AI tool and he's asked me to give it a review. So I thought why not record the process as a video and show you exactly how it works. Now this couldn't have come at a better time for me personally because I'm currently deep in the writing of my own literature review for my PhD. And so Summary is designed to help summarize research papers using AI technology. And it claims to make it easier to digest the massive amount of scientific articles that we all have to get through. Now, it sounds like a great idea, but I'm keen to see if it delivers. So one of the things that I really like about Size Summary is its mission to democratize research. And really what Max made clear to me was his desire to make research more accessible to everyone. And it's important not just for researchers who need to save time and get through enormous reading lists uh, like myself and, and to decipher which papers to read, but also I think we're moving into a future in which academia is very much grounded in cultivating open research communication with each other, but also with the general public. Okay, so after logging in, setting up your account, the first thing you'll notice is that it's a really straightforward interface. It's clean, it's intuitive, and from the other reviews that I have watched of Size Summary, they've definitely made some very solid improvements to the user design and the experience. So you have all the different options here along the top. You've got your library where you can upload and sort your documents. Then you've got a range of tools so you can summarize. You can do a multiple article summary, comparing different papers or parts of papers, as well as generate an AI abstract. Now let's dive into some of the features. So first up is summarizing. A size summary offers several different modes. So depending on the type of summary that you need. So what's really interesting is that you can actually ask it for different types of summarizing. So whether you just want a summary, whether you're looking for key points, whether it's looking for a blog style summary or to tease out opportunities for future research. So you can choose the length of the summary that you need and also which language that you'd like it to be in. Another feature that stands out and is also a lot of fun is the ability to chat with your documents. So you can ask questions, you can get information on figures and page citations, all while interacting with your paper in a way that feels surprisingly natural, like it's a one-to-one -one research group. And I use this to ask what the most important findings from the paper are, but I mean, really the possibilities are endless and I think it's really useful not to think of this tool as a way to avoid reading a paper yourself, but as a way of firstly deciding whether to read a paper. I think it provides a new approach to reviewing literature that, that saves time. And also as a way of interrogating, exploring and refining your understanding of what you're reading. So when you're doing a literature review, you often hear people say things like, you know, read the title, the abstract, the introduction, the section headings, and then the conclusions as a way to understand the paper. And I think this tool offers a way to capture the main findings, the methods, and the insights from a paper in as much detail as you can stomach. So when you're looking at that to read folder, which I know we all try to avoid and downloading more papers than you've got time to read, I think that this is a really vital tool. And for those of us who work with data, the figure and table analysis feature is also really helpful. So you can ask the AI to explain what a figure means within the context of the paper or get a breakdown of the data. So that's a really quick walkthrough of the size summary AI tool. And overall, I think it's a really powerful tool with a lot of potential to help make not only our research process is more efficient, but also improve our communication of our research. And I know that using these types of tools can seem like quite a big change. And I also think maybe sometimes the idea of changing your approach to research 
or adding in these new tools can be either intimidating or sometimes just feel unnecessary. But, and I do think it's an important but, I have definitely saved time using this tool and I will be using it in the future. So my advice would be to give it a go. Try adding size summary into your research toolkit and just see how it works for you. I also know firsthand that being a PhD student on a tight budget can be a barrier to using these sorts of tools and that often it doesn't get better after your PhD either. In terms of the price, I think that it's quite reasonable for what you get out of it. There's a few options to try it out, so there's less pressure to pay unless you find it genuinely useful. So students can get a free month, but for everyone else, I've also asked Max from Size Summary to give our community a discount code, so you can get your first month for 99 cents by using PhD Place at the checkout. I know that trying new tools can be a leap, but I would really encourage you to give it a shot and check it out at sizesummary.com. That's all from me for today. I hopefully be trying out more research tools soon. So subscribe to PhD Place to see how they work and get more academic content in your feed. Thanks for watching. And as always, good luck on your academic journey. Mm -hmm.